And I'm Brad. And yeah, look, every week we introduce ourselves, but this week a special introduction because g'day to all of those people watching us on Addicted TV. Yeah, that's right. Our first sort of real launch episode on Addicted.TV. So look, we're really happy to be aboard and looking forward to bringing you lots of tips over the next little while. Yes, and the first tip we're going to give you this week is about the Scorpion Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, this is a wine that you probably will not find at your local brick and mortar wine retailer because pretty much available only online. Now, that's not a bad thing. We're online. Yeah, all yeah, the time. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, and you know when it comes down to it, you know the guys that are selling this online, they're not paying for the uh, the bricks, the mortar, the uh, the wonderful shop front. They're paying as minimal as possible to make sure that you get really good value. And this is definitely good value. Uh, at just under thirty odd dollars, this is a very very good kind of Barossa slash McLaren flat, not McLaren Vale, but McLaren flat. Cab Sav that really would go together beautifully with say some roast lamb, something along those sorts of lines. A very, very nice drop and very easily had if you just go and search online for Scorpion with the three eyes. Yeah, so as Dan said, look, don't be afraid to get online and buy your wines because often you will find the best prices through the online retailer. So get on and have a look. Uh, I'm going to look at our bargain of the week uh, this week, and this is the Yolumba Y Series Viognier. Now, it's a wine that we've been planning to do for a little while, and it popped up this week because I saw it on the shelves. We picked this up for less than $9, would you believe, a bottle, which in any man's language is a great buy. And look, Viognier is a white variety that you don't see a hell of a lot straight at the moment. You, you see it with a dolloper in a Shiraz. Uh, and it's a pretty hot blend at the moment. But as a straight Viognier, there are some really good examples. And look, in the coming weeks, we'll probably have a look at some of the, the top-end Viogniers. I had a really good one in the Barossa a little while ago, which we'll have a look at. But this one, for less than $10 a bottle, if you're looking to try something different, and this is aimed at those people who probably just go in and pick up a Sav Blanc every time, um, Get a Viognier, and this Yolumba Y series is, is testament to the fact that even at their lower end price points, uh, they're doing some really good quality stuff year in, year out. So it's the Yolumba Y series Viognier, it's really worth a look. Yeah, it's probably Y series, series probably stands for Yolumba, but for me, it's why the hell would you buy a goon bag? <laughs> Anyhow, moving on, the last one we're going to have a look at, this is a Mount Pryor Giraffe. Now this is a 2004, which for a Giraffe means that it's a very, very young wine. Yeah, look, the cellaring recommendations on the back label of this say, with careful cellaring, 10 to 100 years. <laughs> now, that might be stretching the truth a little bit, but it's not stretching the truth a lot. We are, well, friends of mine, we play the 20 questions game where you pour a, you know, a completely blind glass of wine and when Giraffes come up, we always completely underestimate how old they are. You know, Wines that are kind of 20 odd years old that are giraffes, we often guess at being like 10 years old. They're big, they're extremely in your face, they're very grippy, those kind of, the tannins that really dry out in your mouth are there in super abundance when you've got something like this. Inky black purple colours, uh, look they're great wines but you wouldn't put it together with a fish dish, that's for <laughs> sure. You put this together with your biggest, most powerful kind of beef bourguignon, something like that. It's a great wine, it's lots of fun, it is powerful, it is very, very overstated, but look, a wine that's well worth having a go at and well worth having in your cellar. If you forget about it for 20, 30 years, it'll still be there, it'll still be drinkable. So Mount Pryor, the 2004, yeah, gettable for around about the $25 mark. Yeah, look, and it's an example of uh, what really good table wines can come out of Rutherglen and not just fortified as well. They do a few good giraffes up there. Yeah, certainly do. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. We'll look forward to seeing you all again next week. And see you next week on Addicted.TV.